What's up guys? Welcome back to Mr. JWW and today I am joined by Paul Wallace from Supercars of London because he is inducting me into the world of supercar spotting. I have never done supercar spotting before and we are in the mecca of supercars. Good day, which good, is good Monte way Carlo way during Monte top Car marks. Yeah, exactly. I mean Monte Carlo on a good day is good for cars anyway, <laughs> but during top marks it's on steroids. So today Paul's gonna give me some tips on how to go supercar spotting. Let's check it out. Alright, first port of call is Casino Square, which is quite literally the heart of Monaco. If you're looking to spot supercars and you just can't be bothered, come down here. This place is normally saturated with it. And as we speak, Ventador Roadster. <laughs> That's not how you make a car spotting video. That's okay. how you make a car. That's how you make a car spotting video. Just the car, no one wants just to see the your car. Face. Okay. Right, so let's just Put that back one more time. <laughs> uh, no, no, that way. <laughs> that way. Okay. <laughs> I'm actually going to because it's crazy. That's glitter on this thing. It's mental. Look at that. Well, here's the Bentayga we went out in last night. Casual Gumper to Hollow. Hurricane Spider. So, I'm quickly learning that spotting cars with Paul Wallace is like hanging out with an eagle looking for food. So like, I'll be searching around, looking for, just looking for cars, and he'll go, oh, there's one, there's one. There's an F12 there's there, one. And we've also got an SV Roadster there. F12 here. Let's be road through over there, which we'll Let's check out now. So, Casino Square, there's a lot of cars that drive around, but obviously there's a lot of cars that park. However, on every point in Monaco, it is always best to have your vision on as many junctions as possible so that you can see as many cars potentially come into the area as possible. So I'm gonna show James an area over here where I stand where you can see the cars arriving to the casino that way, but you can also see them coming from over here as well. So it's just being clever, but also watching what other people do and the reactions of other people. Look out for people with cameras because everyone gives away the game. So many tips, man. Who'd have thought? Well, you know? yeah, like I remember 10 years ago doing it in London and I was basically doing it by myself. So it was a real hard slog, but now you've got Instagram, people live upload, you've got Twitter, you've got so many social networks, plus so many people do it as well. And you can spot car spotters from a mile away. So just watch <laughs> what they're doing as well as what the car, what the roads are doing. And then you're onto a winner. There's BBS Valenti behind us as well. We didn't even realize. What can I say? It's your eyes in the back of his head, this guy. <laughs> Let's go and stand over right, here right, on that grass patch. Okay, so we are on what could be considered so the car junction. Red Porsche over there. Yeah. Coming up, so you can see all the cars all the coming up. There. And with these buses disappearing pretty soon, you can also see what's coming from down there as well. Spot on. This is so funny. So I'm used to having about four cameras on me. I've got GoPros, gimbal stabilized things. And now I'm just walking around town with one camera pointing them at, at other people's cars. It's such a strange concept. But I'm enjoying it, walking around Monte Carlo, sunshine, supercars, it could be worse. Regio Silverstone. Yep. Yep. Didn't even sound too bad. Okay, so I know this sounds ridiculous, but this is actually harder than it looks. I mean, it's not the actual spotting the cars themselves, it, it's hard. It's getting a good shot of it and getting it in time. So you can and actually- And being at the right place at the right time. Being the right place at the right time, but there's always other stuff around. Uh, yeah, it's harder than yeah, I thought. It, to be honest, it's like most things. If you're gonna do something good, it's always harder than, than you think. Yeah. Yeah, they are black, really black. 
So what else is great about car spotting in Monte Carlo is that we're basically walking the F1 circuit. Legends of Formula One have clipped this very apex. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here we are coming down now into what was formerly known as Lowe's Corner. It's now the, the uh, Fairmont hairpin. And this uh, is such a good place to stand. I'll show you the bit where we can stand. And you see pretty much every bit of Monte Right, let's try this. 30. And the good thing at Fairmont is it comes right back at you, so you get a better shot. Yeah, oh, I got it coming down. And then coming down. And also, if the car's a roadster, you can see right in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Something you probably didn't think about is if you go all the way down there, you can see all the cars that are coming up from the other side of Monaco down by Grimaldi. So it will come around and then come yeah. up here as well. So you catch them way before they're even here. It's Monaco. Monaco is yeah. so good. Yeah. Because you get to see so much and it's so small. It's a good technique. Yeah, they are here. And an RS. Okay, now we're talking. Now this is Monaco right here. This. Koenigsegg pretty much looks like it's painted in true blood. I think he needs inducting into Red Crew. Red Carbon. <laughs> so much attention to detail on these things. Even external vents, Red Carbon. There's one thing having polished supercars down here during top marks, but this is the sign of a true Porsche driver. <laughs> Bugs splattered all up the front. Great to see a car like that being enjoyed. That guy gets top marks. Cheeky little turbo S here. No, it's not. It's just a C63. Supercar spotting is one thing, but it makes it so much easier when your friends turn up in cars. Donze has turned up in his beautiful red Huracan, which I think since last night he's had it washed. You should definitely check Donze out on YouTube. Clearly has some beautiful cars, and this thing is loud. I'm, I'm, he says. This exhaust is stuck, but it cracks and pops like a packet of Rice Krispies. It's absolutely brilliant. And George as well has brought down this uh, C63 AMG, which I believe has been wrapped in Nardo Grey. Looks like a stealth fighter. Yeah, this is much more my scene when the supercars come to me. <laughs> GT3. the corner to the entrance of the F1 tunnel yeah. uh, it's and, it's, and it's cool because all of the cars seem to have to stop first when the tunnel for this pedestrian crossing. So, you get the cars coming from up there. Yeah. It down from the uh, top of Fairmont Corner all and the way there. down here. And they also sometimes merge off towards the uh, beach club. Quite slim, but if we do, 
the sound that's going to happen, the resonance off these walls is going to be fantastic. So we're not gonna rush through here because obviously the more time we've got in this tunnel, the more chance. All right. There is one thing spotting on Sloan Street. There is a whole other story spotting in Monte Carlo because even when supercars don't come out, there's still super yachts, sunshine, sea, fantastic. So we are now completing our full circle and we are back to Casino Square. Yes, we where are. Where with any luck, the circuit's changed. There might be some fresh cars up Well, I didn't up see here. Panamera here last time. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> And that concludes the full circuit of Monte Carlo and my induction to car spotting. All right, and that is it from us. This has been a quite an unusual format for me. As you know, if you watch my channel, I'm used to <laughs> rigging up a supercar with like 12 cameras and... Now it's one supercar filming all of them. Yeah, now it's just great. It's really refreshing to come filming cars with one camera. Yeah. It's amazing. But so it's going to be easy for you to edit as well. well tell me about it. Just <laughs> drop it in, cut, 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 go. So yeah, thanks to Paul. Um, hopefully, Next time I go out spotting, I'll be able to capture some pretty uh, I'm looking forward to cars. watching your next video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm sure you already do, but if you don't, make sure to subscribe to Supercars of London. And thanks for watching. Ciao. Cheers, guys. Nutters. <laughs>